I make jewelry for the wall. Um, miniature metal landscapes. I don't know how else to describe them. It's just what they are, miniature metal landscapes. I first did these seriously in about 2008, so nine years. That's when I started taking it from the simple three-layer jewelry realm up to six, eight, 10, 12, 14 layers. I started out by doing an exhibition of little Alberta country churches because I wanted to tell their story. They're, they're vanishing, they're disintegrating, they're being torn down, they're being sold. So I wanted to tell their stories and realized that by doing these pieces, I can tell a little story of, of the place, of um, the fabulous skies, the wind in the trees, the people who built it. It's just um, it's telling stories. I love the way bronze and copper and silver and um, nickel look together. They're um, fabulous colors, and so I use the very limited palette of three colors of yellow, pink, and gold. Um, that yellow, pink, and silver too. Built up landscapes. I, I like the magic in the little ones. They actually get people to move. Because people will spot them on the wall and they actually move in to get close to them. So this little piece of collection of metals makes people act. And I love the fact that they move in until the piece fills their, their vision. And everything else around vanishes. If you stand back to look at a painting, the painting's there, but all the surroundings are still there. These you move in until it's just the piece and the frame. Um, so they get people reacting to them. And I love that part of it. It's like being miniature is magic.